Hi, Happy New Year. This is Father Peter Heasley, priest of the Archdiocese of New York. And I'm going to go bold. I'm going to say I want to have my first uh, novel published this year. Hi, I'm Katie Carl, editor-in-chief of Dapple Things magazine and author of a novel, As Earth Without Water. In 2022, I'm working toward the publication of a short story collection that's complete, and I'm working toward a full draft of a second novel. As I work, I'm asking God for patience, persistence, and trust in his timing, and I wish the same blessings on you and your work. Happy New Year. Hello, everyone from Catholic Literary Arts. My name is Caleb Dushek, and I'm a fire sprinkler fitter from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. In 2022, I hope to write more and try brush up on my technique. I'm not sure if I'm going to write novels or short stories. I hope to write about accounts about construction or also the account of the nativity scene and the three wise men. Merry Christmas and God bless and good luck to all you writers out there. Hello, my name is Libna Walford and I'm from Downey, California. My writing goal for 2022 is to compose a series of poems um, inspired by the liturgical year as a meditative exercise. Hi. I'm Tom Medlar from Middleborough, Massachusetts. In 2022, I look forward to publishing some completed poems and stories, making progress with some others that I've started, and enrolling in classes with Catholic Literary Arts. I'm Mary Grace Mangano, and I'm a writer and educator, having recently relocated from New York City to Philadelphia. And in 2022, I plan to continue my studies at the MFA program at the University of St. Thomas in Houston, where I'm studying poetry. And I hope to absorb what I'm learning in the program and read a lot and hone my writing voice. Hi, I'm Mary Alice Dixon, a writer in Charlotte, North Carolina. In 2022, I'm looking forward to writing as a way of learning how to pray, to writing the way St. Dennis walked after his beheading, head in his hand, blind, led by the eyes of the other. I want to do this by writing three pieces that teach me in turn a joyful mystery, a sorrowful mystery, and a glorious one. Hi, I'm Tamara Nichols Smith, a poet and creativity workshop facilitator living in Houston, Texas. In 2022, I'm looking forward to revising 10 poems to completion, having three poems accepted for publication, one feature performance, either in person, on the radio, or over Zoom, and in facilitating my Making Space for the Muse workshop two times. Like literary arts folks, greetings from Milwaukee in December. My name is Joshua Wren and I am founder of Wise Blood Books, as well as co-founder and professor of humanities in the new Master of Fine Arts at the University of St. Thomas in Houston, rooted in the Catholic intellectual and literary tradition. In the year 2022 of our Lord, I have three books coming out, First Things, Last Things, and Other Lost Causes, due out in January through Little Getting. And then in February, at the same time, both my theological, aesthetical manifesto, contemplative realism, will appear through Benedict XVI Institute, and my first novel, Infinite Regress, will be published by Angelico. I'm also working on the most germinal, rudimentary sketches of a next novel, tentatively and definitely not finally, entitled Blue Walls Falling Down, also sometimes referred to as You Must Believe in Spring. And this writing project will not see the light of day until well after my wife, Brittany, gives birth to our fourth child in early January. God bless you with prayers for all of your own writing, for its flourishing, and that in spite of our weakness, we all might strive after and be drawn up into the fullness of truth. Farewell.